okay hello everyone um so today in this video we will be going through this particular j street puzzle in january 2023 okay so what we have right now right is that uh, the problem begins with a set of four numbers a tuple of four numbers four non-negative integers so let's say uh our number our initial number are uh, 10 6 3 1 okay and what we need to do with these four numbers is that we need to get the difference between every pair of adjacent numbers and this array is also circular meaning we also get a difference between 10 and 1 so the first difference that we get is 10 and 6 so 10 minus 6 is 4 okay the next difference that we will be getting is 6 and 3 so 6 minus 3 so we'll get 3 the next difference that we'll be getting is 3 minus 1, okay? Because that's the next pair of adjacent uh, difference, which is 2. And the last one, because this tuple is actually circular, what we'll do is we'll get 10 minus 1, okay? And this gives us 9. So this is the resultant tuple. And what we are supposed to do right, is that we're going to keep computing the difference between every pair of adjacent numbers until we get our final tuple of 0, 0, 0. Okay, so I'm just going to demonstrate this one more time. So 4 minus 3 is 1. Um, the next one is 3 minus 2 is also 1. 2 minus 9 is 7. So notice that even though 2 minus 9 is negative 7, but what we're more concerned about is the absolute difference between every pair of adjacent numbers. So we always get take the positive value regardless. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to continue this operation until we hit 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, so now that we are done, so we noticed that we actually had to go through a total of uh, 7 operations. Okay, so 1 operation, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, sorry, 6 operations to actually go from 10, 6, 3, 1 to 0, 0, 0. So for every uh, tuple, there is 1 square generated, okay, according to this program here. So basically the 4 numbers are actually assigned to the corner of uh, each square. So for every one tuple, there's one square. And because there's a total of six operations, that means there'll be a total of seven tuples, including the initial and the final tuple. So meaning we have a total of seven uh, squares, okay? So, okay, using this demonstration, what we're supposed to do, right, is that we are supposed to find uh, the particular set of numbers A, B, C, D, okay, where A, B, C, D are four non-negative integers, um, such that four numbers will actually generate the most number of squares. Okay, so we should have max number of squares. Okay, so if you actually brute force, you actually see there's a pattern, and um, there are actually multiple set of numbers uh, that gives us the maximum number of squares, and we also need to get the minimum sum. Okay, basically the smallest uh, set of four numbers that ge ge that generates the maximum number of squares. Okay, so basically this is the program that I wrote to actually tackle the problem in C++. So the first thing you need to focus on is the constraint uh, limit. So basically this constraint 20 basically means that every single number A, B, C, D can have a maximum value of 20. And if I were just to run 20, right, and if I were to actually run the program, okay, you will actually see that, um, uh, you will actually see that <coughs> 11. So 11 is the maximum number of squares that we can generate if we have constraint of 20 and if i want to see all the tuples that actually give me 11 squares so i'll just simply change card equals to 11 okay and if we actually take a look at all the tuples okay uh we actually notice that a lot of them are just uh permutations of one another but the only thing that we need to be focused on is the first one okay so the first one uh, because this the smallest the smallest one will give us the minimum sum which is what the problem requested and we notice that the numbers are actually separated by two four seven okay two four seven and if i were to actually continue testing this so let's try stretching the constraints let's say uh, 45 for example um and then we because 45 the power of four be a bit too long so i'll just change a equals to zero okay um and let's run it to see uh, what's the maximum number of squares that we have under this updated constraint so we can actually generate up to a maximum of 14 squares so i'll just change my card equals to 14 and um, let's quickly see okay and if we take a look at our first uh our, our first tuple 
which generates the most number of squares with the minimum sum, we will actually see that actually separated by 7, 13, 24. 7, 13, 24. And does that sequence of numbers seem familiar? Well, if we notice, right, it's actually part if of the Fibonacci sequence. Okay, so what I did after noticing, after noticing this pattern is that what we can do is we can simply use uh, dynamic programming to generate the set of Fibonacci numbers up to the limit of 10 million in the question. So if you take a look at the question, okay, so the maximum size of ABCD is up to 10 million. So we'll generate the Fibonacci sequence up to the number of 10 million and then we'll just get the maximum tuple, okay, the tuple which generates the maximum number of squares with the minimum sum uh, using the Fibonacci sequence. Yep, and that's eventually how you'll get the answer and solve the question.